What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I want to be showing you how you can transform Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, or even Windows XP to Windows 10. Now with this transformation pack, it includes the login screen, themes, wallpapers, cursors, fonts, sounds, icons, modern UI or metro UI, virtual or multiple desktops, Cortana like search bar, start menu and more. So first of all what you need to do is come to this website which will be in the description and this is what it will look like. See Windows 10 transformation pack 3.0, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP all compatible for this. And what you need to do is once you have come to this website, scroll down. Now here, it'll be here, you'll have to wait like 15 seconds, so if I just refresh this real quick, you'll see, well you have to wait 20 seconds and then the download link will appear. And you can see right there, there's the download link, so all you need to do is click it, and it's going to begin to download. You can see I've already got it there, so I don't need to download it again. No surveys, it's that quick. So once you've done that, you can cancel, or oh, close out of that, and now, this is what you'll get. So you need WinRAR, WinZip, or something to extract files. All you need to do is right click this and click extract here. And you'll see, this is what you should get. This right here is what you don't really need to worry about. Cancel that or delete that. You can also delete this right here. This is your main priority right here, the transformation pack. Just enter that. Click yes. And now this is what should come up. So for system files transformation, you should just have this default. So on the recommended one, the system font, you can pick, if you know these fonts, of course you can pick your own. I'm going to pick this one because it's the same as Windows 10. Now, the immersive UI, which is only available for Windows XP, Vista, and 7, so not 8, is currently undisabled for me, and I think I'm going to keep it undisabled as well. And now, here you can see we can have a virtual desktop, large icon size is only for XP, so make sure you read this and just go through it really uh, quickly. And, yeah, um, I'm going to leave everything the same. And also, uncheck this right here, because otherwise it will change your homepage for your browser. So, uncheck that. Now, all you need to do, once you're happy with every setting here, click Install. And you can see, it may cause conflicts with UX style engine, so the program restored the original files by launching its installation system. Please reboot the system and run Windows 10 transformation pack to continue the installation. So, need to reboot the computer, and then we need to go back and run the installation. Okay, so I've rebooted my computer, and we're just going to go ahead and run this transformation pack again. So again, just go ahead and click yes. And now, this has come up, and every setting seems to be the same as last time. Just uncheck this right here again so it doesn't change it to your home page and go ahead and click install okay so that took about four minutes and now you should just go ahead and do something else so just sit and wait for it okay here we go and now it's going to be changing and you can see the start bar or the taskbar has already started to change and there we go it is complete. Now you can see once it is done you will need to restart your system. So I'm going to cancel it for now because I'm still recording. And yeah, there we go. You can see we've even got the search bar here so we can just go ahead and search Amazon. Oh, I spelled that completely wrong. It's going to use my default browser which is Google Chrome. And you can see it is working straight away. It's nice and quick. You can also control how big it goes. Now, oops, obviously I spelled it wrong so it's not going to come up. Let's just put a proper one right here. Oh my gosh, I spoke. Okay, um, yeah, we'll do it one more time. Just, just, just to show you that it does work. YouTube.com. There we go. It's gonna open up YouTube like that. And um, we just go ahead and close out of that. And close out of that. And close out of that. And that is what it looks like. So if we go ahead and open up a folder, for example, here. Oops, open up here. Here we go. You can see, it's pretty much the same. Well, this up here has changed. The buttons have changed. I like the design of it. The start hasn't changed. You can see it says Windows setup there. Um, yeah, this is what the pack looks like. Hopefully you do like it. I actually like it myself. And to be honest, this is my first time actually installing it. I've never installed it before. First time doing it. And obviously, I am impressed. So you can see if you also click this down arrow, you can check your recent searches. Um, and yeah, that is it. That is how you make your computer look like Windows 10. Now if we right click and click personalize, you can see this is what you can have. So you can get the modern, you can get the metro, or you can get the glass UI. So if we click the glass one, you see it's changed a little bit there. And it is that simple. That is how you convert your Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Vista, and XP 
to Windows 10. So that is it. Hopefully you do like it. And if you're wondering, can you change your background back? Yep, I'll show you right now. So you can see, I've put my own background back and we've still got every Windows 10 feature on here. So no problem with that. Now let's say you don't like it, you want to install, uninstall it. Just go ahead and open up the transformation pack and click run. And now, well, I still need to restart my computer so I can't do it. But what you do, you just run it again and it will actually come up with the option to uninstall it. Oh wait, there we go. So there we go, all you need to do is come here and click uninstall so it will get rid of everything for you. And you can also, if you right click here and click personalize, you can change it straight back to whatever you want. So let's go to Windows 7 again. You can see, it's going to change back to this. However, the start menu is, well, this is going to be here, the taskbar is still going to be the same, because of course you need to uninstall the pack. So yeah, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13, Photoshop or even After Effects, be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to follow me on Twitter where I'll keep you updated with what I'm going to be posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I'll post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to add my Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. See so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.